What's up mega fans and welcome back to the channel. So today we are moving back to Gundam Seed Destiny to do a mobile suit tier list. But before we do get into that, I want to hear from you guys. So head on down to the comment section below and let me know your favourite mobile suits that appear in Gundam Seed Destiny. And while you're there, please do leave a like on this video and subscribe if you are a fan of mecha anime content and want to see plenty more videos like this in the future. Alright, so we've got the list up here. Like I said, there are a total of 40 of these, as per usual, S, A, B, C, and D tiers. Some of these I think I've talked about before when I've done my Freedom Mobile Suit tier list. They might be in different tiers compared to that because I'm kind of comparing all the ones from Destiny to kind of all the ones from Destiny aside from comparing some that appeared in Destiny to ones of Freedom, if that makes sense. Starting off, we have Abyss Gundam. This one kind of transforms into a boat. I'm not the hugest fan of this one. I think the colour scheme's okay. I just don't really like the arms, like this is the problem when you have transforming ones, you have to fit certain parts on, uh, so yeah, like those parts really do show, so I'm not the hugest fan, I'm going to put this one in C. Next up we've got the Akatsuki Gundam, I love its introduction, I love its purpose and, and meaning to Kagali as a character, and of course it is just like a very powerful suit, but also very cool looking and very unique, being that really metallic shiny gold. Definitely stands out on the battlefield. I don't think it's quite S tier, but I'm going to put it in A tier. If it was in the series a lot more than it was, then maybe it would have made that S tier. Next up, we've got the Ash. This one shows up when we kind of get the freedom returning, coordinator assassins are sent after Lacus Klein. I really love the design of this. It's really unique. It's almost got like these pincer claws. I love the, the green, the very bright green and yellow color scheme. I don't remember it doing a whole lot though in the series, so I'm going to put it uh, solidly in B for now. Next up, we got the Awax Din. Now, this is one of the Din mobile suits, uh, which I did talk about in the freedom tier list i am not the hugest fan of this i can't remember whether i put it in c uh last time but i think in comparison to like all the other ones that show up here i gotta be honest it's a it's a d tier mobile suit not the biggest fan of it at all next up we got the baby interesting name choice uh, b a b i i don't know whether it's pronounced baby or baby but either way it's Definitely a weird name. I'm never the biggest fan of the cone head. Um, I think it works in some cases. Like I think with the uh the the, the like the original Gian and then the Gian Strom which appeared in Freedom, I like it there. I think it fits in with the design better there. Here, I don't know. I don't really like it. I like the color scheme a little bit more than that of the one that we just talked about, the Wax Din. So again, I think I'm going to put this in D, but I'm going to put it right at the top of D. Next up, we've got the Chaos Gun. I think I like this one just a little bit more than um, the Abyss Gundam, but again, I'm not the hugest fan of it. I'm going to put it right at the top of C for now. It could maybe move up into that low B tier, but uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not the hugest fan of it. Next up, we got the Dagger L. This is one of the Grunt Mobile suits, which I believe belongs to the Earth Forces, though I could be wrong on that one. I think as far as Grunt suits go, I actually really like this one. It's just a nice, simple design. I like the head design. I like the color scheme. It's just one of those ones that kind of ticks every box, and it's like, for a Grunt suit, for... You know, one where you've seen a lot of them out on the battlefield. I'm going to go actually right at the top of B for this one. I think it's really, really solid. And next up, moving on from that, which is a very similar one, we've got the Dark Dagger L, which is essentially the same kind of thing, but a, um, you know, black, very dark blue color scheme, almost like inverted colors. It's in the same tier. For now, I'm going to put it behind the original Dagger L. Next up, though, we've got Diaka's Blaze Zaku Phantom. There's a lot of Blaze Zaku Phantoms we're probably going to talk about because for some reason, everyone has custom versions of this in this show. I don't mind the, the suit design. I think out of all of them, this is by far my least favorite just because the color schemes this really just dirty brown color like there's nothing overly exciting about it the color scheme really brings it down for me so i'm actually going to put it right in the middle of these two because i think i like the chaos gun i'm just a tad bit more but again not the biggest fan of any of these here moving on to one that i am a very big fan of though and that is the destiny gundam i'm very tempted to put this one in s tier because i look at everything else on here and as much as I do really like a lot of these suits, I think the Destiny might just be my favorite. I think I'm going to put it right at the top of A tier for now because I don't want to be bringing the suit down because that almost lessens the impact of it. I would rather move it up. So we're going to put it a bit lower for now, but like I said, it may end up moving up. Next up, we got the Destroy Gundam. Really cool design. There's something about it though for me where... The whole backpack, as much as that thing's cool, feels like it's slapped on. There's there's no amount of like blending it into the rest of the design of the design. And I think it kind of works because it is so big. Of course, if it was smaller, 
it really wouldn't work and it would look far too out of place that backpack so as much as i really do like it i love its place in the story i love the power of it i love the sequence it appears in uh, when it first appears anyway i'm gonna put it at the top of b next we'll move on to the dom trooper which of course uh, is seed's version of the rick dom and of course appeared in the original gundam series i actually think I, this is like one of the few times where i actually like this version of the dom more than the original version when it comes to like the zakus and the goofs and all that kind of stuff i like the original versions of those more but i think i like the dom trooper more than i like the rig dom i think it's just something about proportions and stuff nothing feels overly large or overly small even though the head i think is a bit smaller than what the the part other parts of the body are i think it all kind of fits together and it all looks like a a nicely well-rounded balanced suit i'm gonna go um in b i'm gonna put it behind the daggers like i said i do still really like it like everything like in B and above, I do really like, but I think I just like the simplicity of the daggers uh, just a little bit more. Then we move on to the Force Impulse, the first of Shin's mobile suits, which is later piloted by Luna Maria uh, in the series once Shin gets the Destiny Gundam. Just want to mention that when I'm talking about the Force Impulse, I'm going to refer to them all. Um, I did consider doing like the Sword Impulse and the Blast Impulse or whatever it's called separately. But we're just including every version of the impulse within the force impulse. So when we take that into account, I love the sword impulse. The blast impulse, I think it's called the blast impulse. I'm not the hugest fan of that one. But it almost goes like three for four because, of course, you have the standard impulse as well. So I like the standard impulse, like the force impulse, like the sword impulse. Not the biggest fan of the blast impulse. I like the way that it comes together. I just think it's a really solid, like, standard Gundam, if that makes sense. I'm actually going to go right at the top of B for this one. Moving on, we got the Freedom Gundam. Obviously a classic, and I think I was almost unfair to this when I was ranking all of Kira's mobile suits, because I didn't really appreciate, one, how iconic it is, which shouldn't necessarily influence like my thoughts on it, and it doesn't really, but I think the reason why it's iconic is because of how it's utilised throughout Seed and Seed Destiny. And I think the way that it's utilised throughout the entire franchise really it is a damn good mobile suit but i'm not quite going to go into s tier i'm actually going to go in a tier still i'm going to put it right under the destiny we are onto the gaia gundam which is by far my favorite of those three extended suits transforms into one of the baku hounds i think or something similar to that um and i don't know it just it, it just feels like it doesn't have like as many obvious big parts for it to then transform if that makes sense it's just a, a better proportion suit i like the color scheme a lot more as well y you can never really go wrong with like a black yellow and red color scheme it works pretty much everywhere you look at the destroyed gundam strike noir it's a it's a color scheme that just is generally very solid and you can't go wrong with it so for the gaia gundam i'm actually going to go like reasonably high i think because it's more well-rounded proportionally than the destroy i'm going to put it right above the destroy and then we move on to the gazu Ut. i just love like the, the how big it is and tanky and it's got all these like missiles and big weapons on it it's just one of those mobile suits that is supposed to be a, a heavy machinery kind of piece of equipment and I think it nails that look. I'm actually going to go in B, just behind both of the daggers. Then we'll move on to a very interesting mobile suit, which is more of a mobile armor, and that is the uh, Gelsger. I think it's more so categorized under uh, mobile armor, but because almost like the torso, arms, and head are like that of a mobile suit i think it kind of sits somewhere in between so for the sake of this tier list we're putting it on there i really love how unique this is it's almost got like a, a bug like body and everything to it and then it's just got like a bit of a mobile suit sticking out the top so i'm going to put it in b i think i'm going to put it in front of the daggers next up we we'll move on to a couple of gins we've got the ceremonial decoration type i kind of like the the fin going backwards and you know the general color scheme of it the silver bits of gold it does have that ceremonial feeling to it and i think it really nails that down very well i think i'm going to put it top of c though just because i don't think it really serves much of a purpose in the story either then we we'll move on to the again high maneuver type 2 similar type thing i think i like the color scheme a little bit more than this one we'll put it in c we'll put it at top of c for now maybe we'll move but we'll see about that next up we got the goof igniter now i adore the design of the goof it is one of my personal favorite mobile suits in gundam period i gotta go b with this one i gotta go pretty high in b comes to think of it it is also just taken from the original gundam series so i'm gonna put it right in the middle of b here just because it's not like 
you know, the most unique. Of course, it's kind of ripped from another series. So that's why I'm not putting it higher. Next, we've got the Gouet's R. We're going to put it like solidly in C. I'm going to put it behind these two though, because I like the color scheme of these two a bit more. But again, there's not really much to say about that one. Next up, we've got uh, Heine Western Flusers Zaku Phantom. Like I said, we're going to seal hot more of these Zaku Phantoms because everyone had customs of them for some reason in this series. As much as I think the Zaku Phantom is a decent design, it's not my personal favorite by any means. The color scheme definitely helps it a hell of a lot, especially compared to the Yorkers. So we're going to put it like at the top of C, just because I don't think it really appears all that much. Moving on to another of Hyane's suits, we've got his custom Goof Igniter. I don't want to say it's a vast improvement over the original Goof, because I, I think, like personally, I'm more of a blue person when it comes to color schemes. So I think I like the blue a tad bit more, purely on the fact that it, it feels a bit more unique compared to the Goof Igniter, because that's just like the standard color scheme for the Goof. I'm going to put it just above it in B. Then we'll move on to the Infinite Justice gun, of course, piloted by Atherin uh, later in the series after the Savior, which we will talk about soon as well. A classic for a reason, cannot go wrong with this one, and Atherin is my personal favorite character in the entire Seed franchise. we got to go A with this one. I think I'm going to put it above Akatsuki. We'll put it right here in A. Then we'll move on to the Legend Gundam, piloted by Ray Zabarel in the latter parts of the series. Of course, he gets it when uh, Shin gets the Destiny Gundam. Kind of like the Providence Gundam from C. It's almost like the spiritual successor to that. Kind of has the problem of the Destroyer Gundam where it's got a, a really big thing on its back that just like stands out. It like sticks out far too much. Um, it serves its purpose like as a weapon and that. Probably more so than what the Destroyer does. I really love the color scheme. I think that the gray with the red and dark blue for some reason, that, that color scheme just hits, um, and I know that Destiny Spec 2 from Seek Freedom kind of takes a few like design cues, uh, color scheme cues in terms of that as well. I think I like it more than the Destroy. Do I like it more than the Gaia, though? I think I'm going to put it above the Gaia. So we're going to go um, you know, pretty high up on B. Next, move on to Luna Maria's Zaku Warrior. A very classic Zaku design, um, a classic seed Zaku design, which is slightly different to the original Zaku, uh, which... I personally prefer, cannot go wrong with that classic Zaku design, but of course this one is in red, which always helps out. It's quite involved in the story because Luna Maria has it for quite a while. So we're going to put it like pretty high in C, we'll put it just behind uh, Hyenas. Then we'll move on to the uh, Astray Shrike. The Astray is just a great design in general, uh, you kind of add these like um, wings with turbines on them, um, and it, it just looks cool. We kind of go on, wrong with the, the Astray. I kind of want to put it above the Daggers because I do really like the Astray. I think it's got great proportions and such. So we're going to put it like right here. Next up, we move on to the uh, Murasame. It looks very similar to the Astray in a way. And I've just, you know, given high praise to the Astray as a design. But there's something about the Murasame that feels off to me. It looks too lanky, if that makes sense. It makes these changes to the design of the Astray. And every change it makes feels like a bad change and a bad decision, and therefore it just results in a suit that, personally, I'm not the hugest fan of. So I'm gonna put it like right here in C. It's not terrible, but I don't love it either. Now we move on to Neo's custom Wyndham. The Wyndham design is great. We'll talk about the actual Wyndham pretty soon. Um, and the color scheme's definitely interesting that, you know, similar to what we talked about with uh, the Infinite Justice, that kind of reddish pink purple kind of color, mix that in with a bit of green, um, and it's just a cool design. Like. I think the color scheme is really, really cool. The Wyndham design is great, which, like I said, we'll talk about the actual Wyndham uh, quite soon. So we're going to go like a somewhere pretty solidly in B. I got to be honest, I didn't think I'd like the color scheme as much as I do. So I'm actually going to go above the Astro. Next up, though, we'll move on to Ray's custom Blaze Zaku Phantom. Like I said, there's a lot of Zaku Phantoms to talk about here. Uh, this one, being a white one, uh, is more involved in the story because Ray has it pretty much until he gets the legend. Purely on that, I think it's just about gonna reach up to B. It's not the greatest design ever, so we're gonna put it like pretty much at the bottom of B. Next up there, we've got the Savior Gundam, of course, another Atheran suit. This might even be one of my favorite Atheran suits. Um, I love the bright red. I think it really, really works. Uh, I love the accents of yellow. I love the white. It's just a bright colored suit. I think it's got great proportions and of course used a lot by Atherin early on in the series. So I'm actually going to go for A with this one. There's a part of me that likes involving Infinite Justice purely on color scheme. We're going to go just behind it because I think the Infinite Justice is obviously a better suit and it's also a little bit more iconic. Next up we move on to the Slash Zaku Phantom. Now I can't remember who this is piloted by but this one is like what we have with the... Um, the blaze 
except this one has got like minigun things on its shoulders. That just makes it better, <laughs> in my opinion. We're gonna put it just above Race Custom Blaze Zaku Phantom. Next up, we move on to a very iconic one. We got the Strike Freedom. To me, it's like the Freedom, but just slightly better. I like it more than the Freedom personally. It's entrance, it's great, shows up, takes everything out. What more is there to say? Kira truly does have some amazing mobile suit designs and of course they do have just great entrances, great moments, but it's not quite the Destiny Gundam. So putting it just behind, we're gonna put it in that 80. Next up though, we'll move on to the Strike Rouge. It is basically the Strike, but pink, white, and red. We're gonna put it just in front of this one. As much as I love this, this design, it doesn't really serve much for a purpose, so lower end of B, but still kind of comfortably in B. Waltfeld's custom Gaia Gundam, which I completely forgot that he has a custom version of the Gaia Gundam. Um, I can't remember exactly how he gets hold of it. Does he, Do they take the Gaia Gundam and spray it? I can't remember. I think the color scheme really works, but also I don't remember how much it was utilized in the story. So we're gonna put it just behind the Gaia Gundam. Next up, we'll move on to, again, another Waltfeld custom. We've got the his Murasame, which I think it looks better than the normal Murasame. Again, it's still the Murasame. So we're going to put it just above the Murasame. Next up, we move on to the Wyndham, which like I mentioned, uh, we talked about the Wyndham, Neo's Wyndham custom. I really love this as a grunt suit. I know there is a high grade Cosmic Era version of this, which I will 100% pick up. You can't go wrong with just a solidly designed grunt suit. I think I'm going to put it in 80. I think we've got to have a grunt suit somewhere. Somehow it's reached like way higher than Neo's. But for whatever reason, I'm just putting it in 80 just because I feel like it. Next we'll move on to Isaac's goof ignited. I think I might like this one the best out of the goofs, so we're actually going to put it right here. This nice white colour skin given to the goof. It just works for some reason. I don't know why. Next up, we move on to the uh, Zaku Warrior that is used in Mia's concert. I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I mean, it's just sprayed pink. It's got love all over it. It doesn't really work for me. I like the Zaku Warrior design more than these though, so it's going in detail, but we're putting it right here. And then last, but certainly not least, we've got the original Zaku Warrior standard grunt suit for Zaft uh, within this series. It is your typical Zaku, slightly redesigned for the C franchise. I'm going to put it like uh, somewhere solidly in C. I think we're going to put it here. It's utilized a lot. Something needs to go in S. Actually, I think I might put a couple of things in S. Of course, the Destiny, it goes in S. The Strike Freedom, it goes in S. The Force Impulse, I'm actually going to move up into B tier. I'm actually going to bring down the White Blaze Phantom into C. I'm actually going to, I'm going to bring this one down into C as well. I think I sit pretty comfortably there because I don't want to put any of these really down into the D tier. There we have it. That is my mobile suit tier list for Gundam Seed Destiny. Before I get out of here, please do leave a like on this video and subscribe if you are a fan of mecha anime content and want to see plenty more videos like this in the future. I'm going to have a mobile suit tier list for both Seed Stargazer and the original Seed series coming soon. And like I said earlier, head on down to the comment section below and let me know what your favourite mobile suits are that appear in Gundam Seed Destiny. You can rank every single one of these if you do wish. Otherwise, if you want to give me a top 10, top 5, top 3, whatever it may be, just let me know all that down in the comment section below. Thank you once again for tuning into Mecha Chat today. I'll see you guys next time.